Hello everyone, and welcome back to this modding tutorial series. Uh, so today I'm starting a megastructure modding tutorial series. Um, not quite finished with the other modding series, which is systems. I've still got one or two things that I want to do, but I'm still trying to figure them out. Um, but yeah, we'll be working on those. Uh, today though, um, we're just going to start with the very basics of megastructure modding and throughout the series, uh, work your way up. So, let's get started. So, uh, here we are in um, Product Interactive slash Delair slash Mod, and I've created just a blank mod file. So, in here, all we're going to need is a common folder. Under that, new uh, folder mega structures and this is where um each of the full files from mega structures are so let's just do like a simple let's just do like a simple solar array uh, not a simple solar array uh let's do an orbital forge so orbital forge yeah, let's do that. So here we are in the coding space, and just like what I did with the system modding tutorials, I already have a, a mod that I set up, and I'm instead of just coding everything from scratch, I'm going to do a breakdown of bit by bit. Okay, so here we are in the coding space, and um, for anything else, we need to tell the game uh, what we're going to call the reference to the mega structure. So this will be or Orbital Forge zero, and then open bracket, and we are all on our way. So <clears throat> before the we tell the game like how we want the mega structure to operate, what rules, what resources it has, <coughs> or what resources it creates, we have to tell it um, what we want the mega structure to look like, and just a few little things. So for starters, entity and construction entity, these can be the same. Um, how Stellaris works is they have um, they have what are called dot asset files, which is just lines of code that take a 3D model and a texture file, and the code puts them together to make different entities that you can place around the game through code. Um, we're not going to look at that today, and I am oversimplifying it. But that's kind of how you can get different, how every single different mega structure can have a different texture for each of the different species classes. Like, um, like if you look very closely, like the molluscoid Dyson sphere looks different than the mammalian, looks different than the reptilian. That's just for an example. That's all how this is done. But for now, we're just going to use the, I'll show you how, in another tutorial, how to do, make your own entities using uh, in-game assets, but for now, I'm just going to use the construction platform entity. Uh, portrait, GFX, megastructure, construction background. If you want to add, we'll do adding custom portraits later, but for now, just the very basics. Uh, place entity on planet plane, no. Um, I couldn't actually find what the functionality of this is, but only habitats have it as yes, I'm guessing. Uh, entity offset. This so the, when the game spawns a mega structure, it spawns it at zero zero from whatever object you're doing. So, um, so if we're doing it from the star, it's it'd be in the middle of the star if we didn't have this offset. For stars, it seems to be a negative twenty seven, negative twenty seven. Then you have build time and prerequisites. Build time is just how many in game times. Uh, what's the base in game time? that you need to build the mega structure and prerequisites are any technology that um, you need to install it. So it's it's kind of funny that um so whenever you think of technology it's like we gotta get this technology to unlock it, but all the tech is is just like a switch to say yes you have the tech and the um, actual mega structure modding folder or the actual mega structure file does the rest. Okay, so next up is resources. Uh, category, 
is mega structures. I cannot find all every single mega structure will have this except for the hyper relays. So cost just how many different resources cost, and this can be any resource in the game, like um minerals fifty. I don't know, just as an example, you can even do uh rare crystals fifty. Could be whatever. Uh I'll keep this is like how many or this is how much it costs to run the mega structure every month. Um so I just have it as mineral sixty and produces is what resources will come out of the mega structure. So in this case it's alloys. Next up we just have a block of code. I don't know what I did, but that's what we'll do. Oh, I must have just got another bracket. Anyway, uh possible exist star base. So this just tells the game that hey, you can't build the mega structure in open space. And um there's a custom tool tip which those are just like the little lines in, of text that appear when that kind of just explain to like like if you tried to build this mega structure out of the system it'd be like, hey, this um is required to be inside of border, whatever that localization key is, and um just inside of border. So you have to have Starbase and it has to be in the within your border. And the last thing we need for um is placement rules. So we have this line of code up here that tells us if it's possible to place the mega structure. And this tells us where in the system we can place the mega structure. So um I have it planet placement rules, planet possible, it must be a star, and it must not have an anomaly. That's like the very basic. There's I'll pull it up right here. You can see there's like um for custom tooltips this i think this would still be under um possible maybe but like that can't be a black hole or neutron star can't be a trinary or binary uh no existing mega structure actually this one might be a good one to grab as well i think it's outside yep yeah so I think that's the very basics of megastructure modding. So let's see it in game. Also, just to make things easier, we're gonna hash we're gonna hash that out and just so that way we can just build it right from the get-go. Here we are in game. Let's select it. Too tiny. Okay, so now if I just do max resources, and now orbital forge zero, I think it should be working. Just do And we have the purple box. <laughs> so something went wrong somewhere. Let's see if we can fix it. Hey, future Ezra here. Uh, so I don't know what was going on with it, but um, turns out I had, I guess I had something wrong. So I just went to um, the, I think it's the Ring World. Yeah, the Ring World um, folder and just copy the lines of code that had the entity that I wanted. I don't know what was going on with the game because when I pasted it, it looked like it didn't change anything, but when I loaded the game, well, well, it seems to be working now. Okay, yeah. I don't know what it did, I just... So that should be everything you need to get started with your first megastructure. Um, Next episode, we will cover localization, which is very similar to what we did with the Solar System 1. In fact, um, I challenge you before I even put the episode out or before you go and watch the next episode, try and figure out if you can do it yourself.
but yeah, it's a little bit different than solar system modding because you do have to create the localization keys, but I believe in you. All right, see you in the next one. Also, just wanted to put a quick plug out there. Um, I am actually working on a size, like I'd say a medium sized mod. It's not going to be the biggest, but it's not going to be small either. Anyway, I digress. I'm working on a mod called Matryoshka Brains, and it is currently in its alpha stage. It's probably about 50% of the way being to being ready to be released. Um, it's slow going because I am, even though I'm putting out coding tutorials, I am I have very little background in coding. I, um, but I've been piecing together a mod, and I'll have a link in the description. It's out on alpha right now. Yeah, I would appreciate it if you guys just took a look at it. All right, thank you.